Hello YouTube, it's Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast. I hope everybody's well and having a great day. You'll have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a sinus problem, my teeth killing us. And as you can see, my eyes are a little bit watery, but uh, we'll get over it, we'll get over it. Today's video, it's the worst start to a gardening season that I can remember. The weather has been horrific in the northeast. I don't know what it's like where you are. Goodness gracious, um, I've lost so many days and it can get a little bit stressful. And today's message is, you run the business, not your customers, and it's your decisions. And I'll tell you what those decisions are, and I want your advice. What, what do you do? Because <clears throat> I sometimes struggle with this. Let me explain. Bear with me. Tuesday, total write-off. Got one lawn done. Six didn't get on. It was just the heavens opened. It was horrific. Yesterday, I, uh, it was Wednesday, and I had a commercial contract. I was there all day. I couldn't have fitted any more work in. Today's Thursday, commercial contract in the morning, four hours, right off. Um, it's now just after lunchtime, and the heavens have just stopped. The sun's come out, but the ground's soaking. So I've got three lawns to do this afternoon, and then I'm going to try and pick up a couple more from what I missed on Tuesday. But then tomorrow, Friday... Um, is the first Friday of week two of my fortnightly round and it's forecast for horrific weather. So what do you do? Do you try and squeeze? Because next week we're back to sort of week one and if you fit a mow a lawn in for week two in week one then you go in in a weekly basis. So I come up with a plan is I message the customer and say look I haven't been able to get onto your lawn this date. I can do it this date but the next cut will be in a week's time. I appreciate that means you get two cuts in two weeks but it still works out you get 16 cuts a year would you like me to come or would you want me to delay it historically if they said we'd delay it they would probably been gone i'm a bit more laid back these days and uh, i don't chase it as much um <clears throat> but it is a pain and i appreciate us as gardeners we try to push the boundaries a little bit don't we what we try to do is we try to get a good fortnightly, so a cut on every lawn in March. And that keeps uh, the wolves away from the door. And then we go all the way up until the end of October, first week in November. But sometimes the weather just beats you and you've just got to admit that. And I find as long as you message your customers and keep them informed, they're usually all right. And if they're not, it's time to mag to grid. Now, that's an old military term. If you turn a magnetic compass bearing into a grid bearing, it's mag to grid, you add, add the difference. If it's grid to mag, sorry, grid to mag, you add, mag to grid, you get rid. So we have a saying, mag to grid, get rid. And uh, I'm, I'm not uh, shy anymore of saying, I didn't like that customer, I didn't like their attitude, mag to grid, polite message, off they go. And then you might lose a customer for, uh, as in a space for a little while, but they soon fill up, they soon fill up. And I've recognised this year, I don't know if the penny dropped or I just got a little bit tougher, a bit wiser. I, I just thought I'm not tolerating any nonsense anymore. Um, and one of the reasons was I was speaking to an old lady, customer of mine, customer of mine, she's lovely. She makes me a cup of tea every time we go. And uh, she coughed the job to me. She said, Rob, I've had about five or six gardens of, gardeners over the years, you know. I said, I, mean, I, said, I didn't realise. She says, but um, I've always had to let them go. And I, I, I said, why? She said, they were unreliable. She says, they didn't do a good job. She said, they didn't take pride. I didn't know what day they were coming. They never messaged the day before. But, and there was loads of reasons. And she said, you do everything like that. If it's raining, she says, I don't need to know whether uh, you're coming or not because I know you'll text me. Um, and she says, you always try and do your best. You always get that blower out and clear all the grass up. And uh, you'll send me a message thanking me for the work. She says, um, nobody else did that. And it made me think, I'm not perfect. I'm not the best gardener in the world. I, I, I get that. But them little add-ons that I provide, it's that quality service. And uh, quality service will always get you new customers. They'll always keep your customers. And if the customer isn't happy, they're probably one of them people who are never happy in life. And they can jog on, mag to grid, get rid. But... Uh, what do you do with the weather? Do you find it frustrating? Do you get stressed? I woke up this morning and I looked out the window and I checked the weather on the news last night and it said we're going to have a dry day. It's Thursday today. I woke up, opened the curtains, I thought, for God's sake, what's going on? It was supposed to be raining tomorrow, Friday. Um, I don't know if it's just the northeast, but it's challenging. It's challenging. 
And so this afternoon I'm going to Berkeley because uh, that lawn, it's the furthest away, but that lawn, it suffers the, the least. It's on a bit of a slant and the, the water drains off. And then I've got a couple in low fell where I know I might run the risk of leaving track marks. And if that's the case, I'll just come off and I'll knock on the customer's door and say, I can't cut it, I'll see you in a fortnight. Um, but it's a challenge. It is a challenge. And um, these things are sent to test us. But what we're going to do is just take a deep breath and just remember, before we know it, the sun will be shining, the green gold will be growing and uh, we'll be earning and we'll be the money will be in the bank. But don't feel guilty. Don't feel you're being lazy. Don't feel you've let your customers down. As long as you try your best, you try your best. And the, the weather is what it is. And uh, there's nothing we can do about it. But I'm, I'm interested to know how you do it. Do you just miss a cut and then you, you go in the fortnightly? Or you go, uh, sorry, you go every four weeks if it's raining? Or do you fit them in, squeeze them in? What would you do if they said, oh, if you come this week, I don't want you next week. I want you in a fortnight. But that upsets the rotor. I hope that makes sense. I'm sure every gardener has the same sort of problems logistically than I do. But let me know what you're thinking. My tooth's been killing us. I've been referred to dental hospital. Uh, I'm looking to go private to get it fixed quicker because um, I kind of concentrate at the minute. Hence, I've got loads of videos I've recorded. I've recorded a few little uh, review videos and some hedge videos and that, but I kind of sit down at a computer and do it because this irritates me. And uh, hence, you're getting my dulcet tones. But uh, thank you for all the uh, kind wishes of uh, a speedy recovery. Thanks for all the support on the channel. I hope that your season, the beginning of your season, is going a little bit better than mine. But I'm still smiling, and I know that there's better times ahead, and we just have to work through it and get through it and do the best we can, don't we? So that's me. That's it for me today. I'm going to enjoy. I've got a little Greg's coffee. I'm going to drink it on this side of my mouth, and then I'm off to Berkeley. But take care. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I hope everybody's uh, earning lots of uh, coin, filling the cupboards up after the winter bear patch. And remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. It's growing at the moment. It's just too wet. Take care.